Beautiful Savior, arranged by Derek Hakes, for two octaves handbells or hand chimes, level two. The Lord be with you. We're glad you've joined us for morning prayer, for daily prayer from Faith Lutheran Church for Wednesday, July 22nd. The order service is daily prayer for individuals and families for morning from Lutheran Service Book, page 295. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The first reading is from Psalm 40. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the pit of destruction out of the miry bog, and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and trust, put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust, who does not turn to the proud, to those who go astray after a lie. You have multiplied, O Lord my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts toward us. None can compare with you. I will proclaim and tell of them, yet they are more. Yet 
they are more than can be told. The second reading is from Isaiah chapter 9. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace there will be no end. On the throne of David and over his kingdom, to establish it and uphold it with justice and with righteousness, from this time forth and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Our devotional reading for today is from Portals of Prayer for Wednesday, July 22nd. From the substance of his mother. In July of 1944, the United States Postal Service, Navy, and Army hosted a luncheon to promote an early Christmas mailing campaign for servicemen overseas during World War II. This luncheon was themed Christmas in July. The event was repealed in 1945, but soon advertisers were using this idea as a marketing tool for summertime sales. Today is July 22nd, yet our reading is often used during Advent or Christmas seasons. A child is born establishes Christ's humanity. Jesus is true man, born of the Virgin Mary. He's also true God. A son is given, establishes his deity. Through Mary, God gave his son for us. Without Jesus, Mary was a sinner like us. We are possessed by our own sins, hopeless. Yet Jesus came as the ultimate love letter for soldiers, for all of us, a baby born, a son given. This is not a marketing tool. Mary was a witness. She saw Jesus' miracles. She cried at his crucifixion. And she went to the tomb to anoint his dead body. But there was no dead body. Christ is risen. Christ reveals himself through his word and sacraments. For our salvation, a child is born, a son is given. We trust him and him alone for daily needs, forgiveness, and eternal life. Indeed, this really is Christmas in July and beyond. Lord Jesus, may we cling only to the hope found in you. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Then go joyfully to your work this day. We will be uh, streaming again tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for daily prayer. The Lord bless your day.